In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the GoPro as a webcam for live streaming using OBS. Now, for the purpose of this video, I actually have the most recent one, which is the Hero 13 Black. I'm going to show you how to set it up in OBS and to be able to use it as a streaming camera. The first thing, obviously, we're going to need some cables. Now, in particular for this one, the 13 Hero Black, I usually other GoPros, you can use just the USB cable. So basically, it comes with the USB cable, but eventually you're going to need a longer USB cable, something that can reach to your computer. So I have a USB type C cable right here. If you open the GoPro right here, all right. So as you can see where you insert the battery, there's a USB type C port. You use this to charge it, but you can also use it to connect to your computer. However, you would think that if you connect to your computer, something is going to happen and nothing really happens. You can see it as a webcam inside of obs which i wish it was actually possible so it is not another thing another way of doing it before so you would use the usb cable i think it still works for maybe for hero 12 and 11 and you would download a software called gopro webcam so the software will act as a middleman between the camera and the computer and once you go to obs you can just go to obs and choose gopro webcam in fact i have downloaded it and this is what it looks like so if i type in gopro i just want to show you different options so this is the software you download it if you're using hero 12 maybe and 11 this may work and you go to your system tray here and it should show up here gopro webcam so this is the software usually once you open it you are able to preview the camera however if i plug in my hero 13 as you can see now it's plugged in via usb if i go here it actually does not show up so let me turn it on perfect so right now it's showing usb connected on the screen and it does open a lot of tabs i don't know why every time i connect it just open a lot of google tabs it's like has a conflict with my stream deck i have no idea anyway so i try to go here go to the gopro icon usually show up here click to it once you click on it usually you should see this preview you should be able to preview the camera image but it's not working so we're gonna skip that part because it's not working at least by the time i record this video maybe gopro is going to update the software to support the hero 13 so if it does update the software that means you can use that method now the next way of doing it which is the what i'm gonna suggest you guys do is by actually removing this part of the gopro right here so we're gonna go ahead and remove it so you can simply go do like this and we're gonna remove it so as you can see it's 100 removed all right and then we're going to install something that's sold separately by gopro called the media mod okay this is uh it's probably under 100 dollars okay so what it does is gonna adapt the gopro and give it the ability to be able to connect hdmi and usb type c it's gonna give it a usb type c port audio port and hdmi out port so we're gonna be using hdmi and a capture card instead so basically as you can see if i show you you got three ports here and the microphone by the way has also a built-in microphone so you can see we have a microphone here we have a hdmi port in here we have a usb type c port and we have a microphone input as well here and we have an actual microphone here and it comes with this wind screen that you can attach for the mic if you're shooting outdoors attaches like this and it gives you some extra cold shoe on the side as well cold shoe and on the top to be able to mount some other accessories so now this is what we're gonna use to be able to connect our gopro so we're gonna open it like this and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and insert the camera so something like this All right and then close and then boom so now we have our ports available to be used so now what we can do is we're going to go ahead and plug in an HDMI cable, which is going to be something that we're going to need. So it's going to be a micro HDMI cable on one end and full size HDMI on the other end. And then, of course, we're also going to need a capture card so we can connect our HDMI here into the capture card. Now, if you have something like an ATM Mini Pro or another video switcher, you won't need a capture card. You can connect the GoPro into the capture card directly. So now this part is going to connect directly into the gopro hdmi port 
And then now once we have everything connected, we can go ahead and connect this USB part of the capture card into the computer. So let's go connect it and see what we get. Another thing is we're also going to mount the GoPro to something just to be able to, you know, make sure it's facing us. All right, so right now I have the GoPro connected to the computer through HDMI as I just showed you guys in the capture card. So we're gonna go ahead and open OBS and we're gonna add it as a webcam. So now we have OBS open. Uh, we have a scene here that I called USB webcam. Again, you can create any scene that you want. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go under that scene, we're gonna hit the plus sign, and then we're gonna add a video capture device. I'm gonna call it GoPro. I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna go look for the name of the capture card. So it's not gonna show as GoPro. By the way, the GoPro webcam, as you can see, it shows up here, but it's just, when I click on it, it just doesn't show up. So it just shows this image. So something is wrong with the firmware and you know the GoPro and everything that communicating. However, since we're using a capture card, I can just go here to USB video and be able to see if I can get GoPro to show up. Not showing up. There you go. So as you can see, the problem is the HDMI was not plugged in well. Uh, that's why we're getting those colors. So as you can see, the GoPro now is showing. Now by default, GoPro is gonna show you these weird images, which is really weird. Basically goes, it defaults to media library, okay? So we can go ahead and just use USB video, of course, whatever we're doing. For resolution type, we can keep it to custom and then we can choose 1920 by 1080 and everything else to leave the way it is and click OK. So at this point, it's just us having to deal with the GoPro. It's a pain. I wish it was automatically going to show up. Uh, let me show you how we I can actually fix this problem, which is a little it's a pain, but it is what it is. All right. So right now, what we need to do is we need to use the side button. OK, and the uh, side button to go through options and the top button to select. So I'm going to press once, twice. OK, the side button and then in the top, I'm going to click to that icon right there. And as you can see now, it's going to give me a live preview uh, right now. It's showing some information and we need to clean that up. So I'm going to click to the side button again, click on it again click on it again and again until I get to the eye icon. So now when I get to the eye icon, I click the top button to select. And as you can see, the whole information now has disappeared. So now I can put it back to the stand. All right. So now, as you can see now, the GoPro can be used as a webcam right now. You can see a live image coming in. You also have some audio coming in. So it's using the microphone is coming directly through the HDMI cable. And that's how you can use it. Now, if you want, you can even attach a, an external microphone through the uh, audio input and be able to select that as well as an option through the GoPro. But for now, we're going to keep it simple. And as you can see, the image is there. It's looking good. It's ready. Obviously, you have to do probably some adjustments and everything. But this is how you can use your GoPro as a webcam using OBS. Let me know if you have questions. But other than that, I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.